Then they low hovered the Varus, but Fnatic made the right conclusion, saying if we go triple AD against the Gragas uh, Nautilus frontline, it means too much at this stage. The Dragon's now going to get taken. Every little boost helps in Vitality. Bottom side right now, Cupshot is pushing too far up on his own. Yeah, he's caught out by Febivin and Gamsu. He might be very tanky, but will he be tanky enough as he sends Depth Charge flying onto Febivin? Oh, he blocks Based the him queue. on the Rift Block. They blocked him from getting out of the queue, and now he's just got to try to walk it out, but no help is coming. And that's first blood to Febby. And this off for Vitality in the end, if they can get some of these towers, like they're finally looking to take down Tier 1, and this is big because they can replace this with an Azir turret and then push in and rotate to different... Spirit was tanking. Vitality felt a little bit too safe. Yeah. They were saying, the game is supposed to... Vitality is starting it. They're getting out of blue trinket. Yeah. In comes the rest of Fnatic. The hook is on, and they pull him and bop him. That's a lot of damage. Cabo coming around the back. They're going to try to tunnel in onto the tree. Can they take him out? It's Clyde. They actually turn around. Right. Febivin's around the backside, and it's Shurima the back way. It's Febivin who's staying alive. Vitality lose Yarden, and now they're on the run, lest they lose any more lives in this one. Chase is still on. We've already doubled our kills this game, boys. Let's see if we get any more. Oh, everyone's caught in between the Azir damage, though. Daylord chilling to some music as well with the headset on. Let's try and force Vitality to move in. Go turn on two. You can go for them. Yeah, looking to see if they can pop the Fab. And they can. He barrels him away, but it's right back into the Baron. And now Vitality trying to soften that one up. Fly around the front. Fevivin, half health yard. Oh! Executes him. Baron's down. The fight's on. They try to push him back, and it's not going to be enough. The double kill coming in from Fevivin. And now the Lamb's Rest butts up. So that's going to be a few seconds before anyone else falls. But it's going to be Kasing. It's going to be Cabo. And it's going to be Fnatic with the ace. Ace for Fnatic and straight looking at the inhibitor, maybe even a Nexus Tower because that time is along. They've got a Baron buff and we see exactly what we we're so afraid of, Vitality. They didn't pull the trigger in the early game and they find themselves completely outmatched by honestly Fnatic being smarter than them. Yes, and that one team fight Vitality were looking for around the Baron at first. Engage onto Gamso, he's the only man. Time for Febivin here to push completely unopposed on the bottom side. This five item Ezreal is really scary too with these defensive items, you know. He's going. Oh wow, they're gonna try to 4v5 this for a second. The shuffle backwards, a Fnatic, drops. a little bit low, but Reckless is able to take out Nuke Duck in the back of it all. Meanwhile, Kabo had gone back down to deal with Febivin, and this is gonna be curtains for Vitality, unless they can pull something out of their hat quick. Lamps for Spike comes down for Spirit. Yarnin trying to duke it out with him here. Dashes forward, but he's slain. It is three members down, this and game. Kasing's gonna go as well. Flays back, buys time, not enough. And Kabo is the lone man left for Vitality as Febivin flashes away. Taunts him a little it. bit as well. Dances around after flashing. Duke and Capuchot is chasing. Yeah, he wants at least one kill on the board here for Vitality. Zero in 11. Completely against all expectations, even after the pick and ban. Vitality don't show up, but Fnatic do. Fnatic show up absolutely massive, and they will try to close this one out as cleanly as they can. Have not given up a man, have Kabushard taken eight towers. Febivin is still playing with Kabushard, and this game is over. The last Nexus turret's gonna fall, and at 41 minutes, Fnatic have had a monster game one, and they will try to close it out and see what we can do in game two. And such an interesting game one because... Yeah? Against the likes of a Poppy, because Poppy's just so good against the very generic tanks, she like Nautilus and Maokai. So Fnatic get away with this Azir matchup. We can see TP top here now. It comes in from Febivin. On the hunt. They look for Kasing. Can they find him? Oh, He's going to fly back up. And the Claw's coming in. They put him in Tomb. And that is going to be first blood over to Reckless. Looking for revenge is... Versus some of these tank supports like a Braum, maybe even a Bard. Something that can escape. Spirit now gets hooked. Hook Lantern. Kasing wants to prove you wrong. Yep, there's the flash already burned. See if they can take him down here. They can. It's shook with the kill, but the hook exactly. helped out. This is what Thresh is made. All right, once you start winning one kill, it's over. Mitch, let's look at the bottom lane here. All right, Martin. There we go, and Mitch. And Yarnin might be in some trouble. Teleport around the side. Because things already down, and Cabo completes it. But it's a 2v5. Yarnin just melts in the back. And Febivin getting the credit for that one means Cabo is running with his tail between his legs. Nuke Duck has almost no mana. He can't really defend this. With Vitality are going around the side. They've started the counter gauge to collapse, but Gamsu sends the hammer flying, and he knocks oh, Kasing back. Gamsu. Now he's surrounded into the box, but it doesn't matter. He's into the ground, and Fnatic can take this tower with ease. Yeah, that, that for me is the, the true beauty of this composition, as we see a casket from Shooks. Here he goes low. Oh, Lamb's rest by on, and they all group up to finish it off and get the heal to boot. It is that you can only... By Gamsu, 
And in mid lane, Fevivin scores back, so this opens up for Robes and then double TP. TP's on both sides coming in. Fevivin goes in on the Glacial Path, and they put Yarnin against the wall and melt his health bar down to nil. Because seeing now on the run, there's no one for the Landry to take. And Nuke Duck, even though he gets the Divide, still gets taken down to zero. And now Shook's caught. Nowhere to go, trying to get to his tower, but Headbutt Cold says nay. And that is three kills to zero for Fnatic. Just need pink wards. Oh, the pink wards cripple. No, you have you've had a little bit of cause to cheer, but there are quite some more. Here's a couple more in there. Teleport for Feb have been stopped on the box, but he turns for Yarnin right now. Can he take the lantern out? Oh, no! Blocked. Dead fast presence says blocked up. And now Spirit flashing right over the Emperor's divide. A huge amount of damage on the nuke duck, and he is out of this fight. This is the second bit into the Zircom because they both want the mid lane in the mid game. Right now, Shook needs to steal this Baron. It's going solo here. Shook trying to be the hero. Throw oh, it in. They catch Gamsu. Big Barrel comes out, but Shook keeps Fly. distracted. Can't do a thing. And the Baron goes over. Fnatic now start to plow through Cabo Shard. And they've taken him out. It's Reckless with a kill on that one. And they keep on running on the hunt. Not quite available yet, but they just don't need it. Nuke Duck, Shook scattered to the winds. And Kasing now knocked back in. Gamsu gets the kill. Climbing up. The scoreboard right now, Fnatic just shredding every member, but it's a return kill for Yarnin. With the curtain call, he's able to get at least one back. Maybe more, Spirit! Oh, oh he's down. A That's little... a double kill for the gen. Yeah, three kills go down. Four men together and one guy in side lane, which is Kapo Short. Oh, Reckless may get caught here. Oh, he does, and he gets oh, back in. Spell Shield comes in a little bit too late. The hook is gonna land on his Spirit. A teleport coming around from the back, and another one coming around the front. Shook, though, is already a little low. Gamsu exhausted, but he turns around from Kasing, and this is a very messy fight with Kapo Short coming in around the side. Chrono breaks, but is it too late for him? Has to flash into the Baron pit. Fall Followed by Spirit, jumps over, Dance of Arrows, Fevivin comes in, and that's a double kill. A little bit of miscommunication there. Fevivin and Gamsu going both at the same time. As we see, Kjarnan almost drop here. Gamsu has E available soon. By healing for Nuke Nuke should be dead here. Uh, one auto attack, and that's all Reckless needs for the long range boomerang follow. Three members down for none. They're starting to push inhibitors. Yeah, when Fevivin went in, the hammer time came down, and he kind of swung all of his opponents out, but he still got shook down. And it all started with a good pickup on Vitality, but they weren't on the same page with their skill shots, and if they don't make that stick, it's over. Right, again, you are not able to execute your composition, but we talked about how Fnatic or Vitality had like one play. Go four man mid, try and catch someone to start a fight with the Gragas, and like that's it. And if, if that doesn't work, you lost. And next week, if Fnatic do win here, that means Fabi gets to go to Rotterdam. That's obviously something they're playing for. They really want to make it to that offline event. Now they look to finish. Cabo goes in. Yep, they're trying to find a little bit of something, but Cabo's gonna have to chrono break back towards his team. Fly goes in, the last of his health bar used to knock Nuke Duck in. There's a big divide, but it's not gonna be enough to take anyone else down. Cly might be down, but Fnatic are knocking on the front door. Nuke Duck, that damage has evaporated. The Nexus turrets are falling. Fnatic have gotten everything in this game. Vitality, they've got nothing, and Fnatic are on match point. I mean, we're seeing a team here. Change up the pick and ban phase a little bit because it's Maokai to add in AP damage around them, but the GP is slow scaling. They could also just go for double TP dive. In addition to have a corruption plot, it actually puts you ahead. That's exactly what happened. Uh, there's a party in the bot lane, which is really the top lane. 2v2, Shook teleport goes up, coming. comes back down. Gamsu going quite low. There isn't the teleport. Now very it late. finally comes. Very, very late on this one. As Spirit realizes the game is up oh. for him, but he can't get away. Another cocoon. And that's a double kill for Shook. And what a fantastic start. Pushes in, and then you spot him. Playing the bottom side, TP coming in. Nuketuck is here, as we talked about, in side lane. But there is back Good flash. Slow setup, but the flash is on. And now Spirit goes in. They knock him up and try to take down the gangplank. Everyone leaves him for dead there, and it's reckless it's with the kill. Kabuchan has no TP yet. Oh. Now, it was just slightly off cooldown. So either it is to be behind it. Nuketuck has to be careful here. Oh, Barrel, it's going to knock him back. And Reckless speeding himself up. But there's a teleport coming in. And now it's 2v2 with Cabo Shard double timing onto Spirit. And Reckless says, see you later. I mean, it's actually surprising how bad Fnatic is playing against Teleport. They, in the other games, they had double TP, and they could do these plays and have this advantage, but like... Why just walk through this? You're walking straight into a lane again where double TP is available. And they end. They're about to nail the Baron bait here. TP oh, coming in. Oh, boom. Cly, all of a sudden, half his health is gone. Unbreakable will, but they've got the ignite on him. They just want to finish him off. He's going to get the pulverize onto Kasing, and he 
Wait, Clyde, Flash, Flash is right over the wall, but oh, then okay. Yarnin follows him. Jukes. All they can. Fnatic now moving though for Kasing. Can't quite find him because of the flashes there. Curtain calls on, on the hunt, defensive for Yarnin. Gobbushard in the middle. Bebevin incredibly low. And now Vitality are trying to chase on this one. It is a hectic, chaotic chase. Clyde flashes over the pit, but Cabo follows and so does Shook. Fnatic still on the run. Nuke Duck just waiting as he loads his barrel. Let's see what he can. Oh, he Nuke Duck! Duck there. Oh my goodness! Yarnin gets oh, the kill on oh, the other side. So well. smart. He uses the cast to fly towards Fevivan. Makes Spirit help him. Oh, what a good play. And Kabushar, too. He waited for Clyde to get close to the wall, then twisted advance, gets carried over. Complete outplay here for Vitality in this fight. Big, big play. Two for none, and that's going to be Baron time. Right now, Spirit's caught by the Dark Binding. Gamsu still trying to kill. To sing, and he actually does go down. Spirit bops him with the barrel, and now there's an answer kill, though. Nuke Duck has turned it on, and he finds Spirit. Gamsu trying to run away, but nowhere to go. That's a double kill for the Gangplank, and four Fnatic members are down. Fnatic was doing a good job before, just kind of delaying the game more and more, playing around this 1-3-1 one, one split push. But once they lost another Dragon, I feel like Got a little bit too aggressive, maybe saying, guys, we actually have to do something. We're losing on dragons. They still have Baron control. So Febrin was the guy diving in for Kasing, which started the whole fight. And he was very low and just had to run away after. He wasn't even able to... I just mastermind. The Kasing effect. Kasing effect. Sometimes it is very, very real spirit, though, is going to try to get some revenge. He knocks Kasing back in, but there's a teleport already on. And Clyde was bound up, shook now with Yarden, turning back onto Gamsu. Emperor's Divide pushes a few back, but not nearly enough. Oh, everyone is just melting! Oh, my lord! Fnatic are just gone. What an absolute slaughterhouse from every single angle. Somebody from Vitality steps in. Cabin Shard is unkillable in that fight. Fnatic melt, get aced. Vitality. Yeah, 14 to 2. Ooh. Completely different game. GG, well played, boys. Vitality say we will not get swept away and under the rug. They take themselves the Nexus turrets, take the Nexus, and we have a series on our hands. So far, the double TP composition has won every single game. Game one with the Kassadin. Work. Uh, obviously, did lose mid tower, but he went very early to side lane and I, I think this is more for Vitality saying we want to have double TP end instead of make that play on bottom side. But you could actually have opted into oh, shoot. Every TP. Oh, he's getting caught. He gets caught and in comes Spirit instantly. And now Gamsu around the side. There are hooks for days, but Shook does manage to get one juke off. Still, with Fnatic members just chasing like crazy, Spirit can't help but pick this one up. He just needs to reload his shotgun, work the flash, and that's first blood. Some horrible things. Some good, uh, yeah, we have. <laughs> We yeah. see some good adaptations. We've also seen Shook getting caught. Oh, is he maybe catching Spirit? Oh, the flay backwards. Now Spirit's going to try to get the blowback, but he's got absolutely nowhere to go. Oh, Collapse. Scumbag mm, Kasing steals it. I love it. Look Completely after one lost fight. But here's how you got to get your gold swing now with the Rift Herald buff. They start on this tower, but look at this. They're instantly answering back, and Shook's caught in a line. Kalai with the box down. Now Spirit instantly exhausted. Gomsu is bopped and pinballed all the way back into the team. And Yarnin. No, it's Shook that takes him down, but a curtain call answering. Now Kasing going low. Everyone body blocking. It's Shook that lines up for this one, but they're not done yet. Fevivin goes in, instantly caught on the cocoon. Now they turn their attention for Cabo Shark. Do they have enough in the tank to take him out? Spirit, however, is on the wrong side of this fight. All of a sudden, it's Kasing that gets blown up. And Febby with the kill credit for that. It's a one for one, but he's caught in between the rest of them. And Yarnin goes big. And now Vitality turns the fight again, melting through Reckless's health bar. There's a lot to talk about this fight. The video I saw you. But this is why we're seeing Vitality take the comfort levels. Feb have been looking for Kabushar, gets the Ring of Frost out. And it's just a 1v1. Or is it because Spirit has come right on in? Explosive oh, cast. Can Cabo get away from this one? He bops back forward and looks to try and take Febivin down with him, but not yet. No, it's Febby that takes him out. I think the cannon minion just blocked the body. Called a minion taxi, Q flash with Kasing, which is actually a pretty bold move to do. He used W to a minion, then Q flash. Let's talk about that later, though. Febby going in. Oh, he is, and he puts the tomb down on himself. They turn for Yarnin. Gamsu hooks him in, and Febivin instantly just takes him out. Curtain call now for Vitality as they are on the run. Not getting away from this one. Nuke Duck sends the barrels flying. But it's Kasing and Nuketuck that are way too low to fight this one, and it is a one-man advantage for Fnatic. So at first, it's Vitality trying to force the play of Kasing, getting flash for flash, definitely worth it against the Jin. but then 
There's another fight happening before this where they try and engage. Ulti was used by Kabushat and then Fnatic. Double TP though. Gets Not over yet. Again. Straight for Spirit. Oh, he's gotten bopped up twice and Baron even assists on that one. That's Kabushard getting the kill. Gamsu now trying to connect back up with his team, but Cabo's not keen to let that one happen. Kly's so low. They pop him. That's a double kill for Cabo. And now Vitality have answered right back. Yeah, and it, it, it all for dying. But tell not doing exactly the same. They are pretty low. Yeah, but they turned for Gamsu. He's going in now, and he's just isolated, trying to stay alive, but he was bopped back, and now Yarden picks him up, but instantly they turn it around, and Fabivin has a massive, massive ultimate. Shook oh. dancing spider shoes away from that ultimate. Fabi going low, but Cabo can't quite finish him off, and Reckless with the flourish answers with a kill. And guess what? Fnatic have their spells back going on in the bottom side of potentially a fight sitting on around this dragon Scooby here. replay. Yeah, forget the replay. We're in live and Feb have been trying to go in again, but it's Reckless who gets the kill. Now Febby will fall and the Gangplank picks one up, but everybody is just going down. Kamo Shard trying to throw his weight around into this brush and he finds Gamsu, but they've got another answer and it's curtains for him. He's taken out. Spirit with the kill. Four kills for one. Fnatic on the dragon fight get everything. Fnatic just... Semi-final first for Fnatic, yeah, yeah. Teleport if they manage in. to win. Yep, Spirit. Oh, he's gonna get caught right now. Vitality looking for some revenge. As tanky as that Graves can be, it is not enough. And you can see that gold graph a little... Very, very unlikely it's gonna work, and let's see what happens here. Spirit. Yeah, they pop him right back in. Look at all those shields, but is it gonna be enough here? As Kabashar trying to disrupt the back line here, throwing the barrel out. Spirit is actually gonna walk away, and Kabashar's gonna have to death! Oh, and look at those health bars! Oh my lord! Fnatic are coming up huge, and Vitality are gonna go down 33 and a half minutes, and that might just be it. That's it. Fnatic is going to run down here. 50, 40 seconds to death timers. All we can sink spawns in 25. Inim's already down. The wave is coming. Fnatic might have been doubted coming into today, the number six seed in the playoffs, but after an incredible showing, three out of four games, Nexus turrets are all that remain, and these guys will be going. We'll see them in Rotterdam, and I cannot wait.